a $3,500 scam. It was foiled by a bank teller in Tomahawk. That's according to the Lincoln County Sheriff's Department. And these schemes, well, they happen more than you might think. News 9's Tom Lally is live and he's digging deeper into this story. Hey, Tom. Hey, Phil, get this. The Lincoln County Sheriff's Department takes about five calls a day related to fraud. One of those happening in Tomahawk last week, a scammer telling an elderly man he won the publisher's clearinghouse sweepstakes. But in order to get the reward, he had to give thirty five hundred dollars. Luckily, bank tellers in the Sheriff's Department stopped that all from happening. You know, it's probably more common than people think. Consumers, that's you and me, lose more than $40 billion a year, according to Wisconsin's Department of Agriculture, Trade, and Consumer Protection. People really want to believe. The target is typically consumers over 65 years old. We really see two main types of scams. The first she calls too good to be true. Someone comes in thinking they've won big and just need to pay in order to get it. We see it a lot. The other, a scare tactic. For example, if someone is convinced their grandson is in jail and needs money. Well, why don't we call your daughter, you know, their mother? They would they would probably know. Park City Credit Union says across its branches, this happens at least once a week. They really want to think that they just got lucky. And unfortunately, they're going to get very unlucky if they fall for it. So if something doesn't seem right, Tell your teller. We have been there, done that, and we can really use our experiences to help you. In the meantime, you can tell telemarketers that you don't want to be called back. If they do call you back, they're breaking the law, and it's probably a sign they're not a business you want to deal with. And if you get letters. The letters don't often make sense. Keep your eye out for proper grammar and fact check. Otherwise, talk to your bank and your local authorities. And we've got re more resources in order to help you or maybe even your parents. They're all linked on our website. Live in the Control Center, Tom Lally, News 9, WAOW.